Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Adobe Easy Tips, and I'm going to show you some stuff in Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. Um, this is probably the best editing, uh, video editing software I've used ever. Um, I know Final Cut is out there, and it's pretty good software, but this is amazing by Adobe. And they've integrated very well with the other Adobe products, so I like it a lot, and I'm going to show you some tricks in it. Uh, very simple stuff here. Uh, this is just a, an introductory uh, lesson to it, and in the future, I'll get to the more advanced uh, options with uh, Premiere Pro. I'm on the main screen here. I'm just going to create myself a new project, and we can call it let's call it Test Two. And I'm going to click OK. And over here, I have my settings for my sequence and the sequence suite. Sequence. <laughs> Let me say that again. The sequence is uh, the pretty much a timeline. If you're familiar with other programs where there's a timeline, this is what your sequence is. It's a time uh, that the video or the audio takes up in your project. Um, let me go to general and show you some of the editing stuff here. What we want to do in an editing mode, uh, we want to select a setting that fit, best fits our project. Now, if you're going to DVD or any other kind of uh, media, you, you could use these other options and you can research a little bit more. Uh, what I recommend is if you're creating a video online or for your computer, for personal use, you know, click the desktop, you, you'll end up getting the smallest um, video size, which I know a lot of people are probably concerned with. So I'm going to set my pixels here to 800 by 800, and we'll leave that as sequence one, and we'll leave one the audio as well. Two things I recommend before you create a video. Research what frames um, do to your um, frames per second, actually. What, they, what that does to your video size. And also uh, what the bit rate does to your size. So these are things to be concerned with when creating a video. Because some of you might be creating stuff that's just going to go on your local computer. And like I said before, or maybe for something online. And you're going to be concerned with the, the actual uh you know, space it's taking up. So, what I'm most concerned about when I'm creating a video uh, from my computer or to put onto YouTube is to make sure that it's a small enough size where people could just view it very quickly. And I'm going to show you the export options in about a minute. So, let's um, import a video first. I'm going to go File, Import, and this is my friend Alex Ovechkin. Yeah, my personal friend. <laughs> just knocked out the New York Rangers if you're a hockey fan. But um, I'm going to take this video of him. And I'm going to make sure my audio is down here, not to annoy you guys too much with it. And you'll see on the top right hand corner of my screen, that's the video. And I'm going to show you a cool tool on the right hand side here. It's called the Razor tool. And we can slice a piece of video in about one second. There you go. I just sliced a piece of the video. And now I can move it. So that's one really cool trick with uh, Premiere. Very simple. And on the left hand side we have transitions and I'm going to do a 3D transition here. I'll do a spin away. I'm just going to take this effect and drag it onto the piece of video there and you'll see what happens. We're going to go right here and play it. And that simple little transition was done with that effect. We'll do it one more time to give you a better look. Just that bringing from the uh, the center to the outside um, was a 3D transition by uh, with Premiere. So now what we want to do is we want to export this video. Now with exporting videos in uh, Premiere Pro CS4, what happens is is that the information gets sent to the Adobe uh, Media Encoder. So these two work hand in hand when creating your video. So to export a project, we go to File export and I am gonna do uh, media right here and these are my options for where you know I want to send it file format uh, bitrate and a lot of kind of good stuff um, right now it's at MPEG 2 um, for my just personal suggestion if you're doing this for the computer uh, maybe choose QuickTime or um, if you do use MPEG 2 especially if you're using YouTube um, you want to keep it at a higher quality. Um, you know, if you if you look at the guidelines for YouTube, they say to use the highest quality possible, and then it gets converted on their end. So just make sure where you're where you're uploading the video and and know the um, parameters first. That's the um, best advice I can give you for that. What else do we have here? I'm gonna click OK because I'm not gonna do the exporting because that's gonna take a 
a little bit of time and I don't want to eat you guys seeing the encoding going on. It's not that exciting. Um, you can also do some text. Let me show you how to insert some text here. We're going to go to title, new title, this is uh, default still, and I'm going to click OK. And I'll show you how easy it is to insert some text. Right here, we're going to use this text, and I'm going to do tests. And that's it. I can exit out of here. I'm going to lock this layer, and I'm going to take the title, drag it onto the second video timeline. I'm going to stretch it out. If you just go to the end of the um, the title, you'll see it changes. You can also do that for the video to stretch out your video. And I just stretched it out to the length of the video up on video layer one. And you should see, I'm going to come out here, the word test, it's hiding up top there. There's test. And I can bring it over here. Just one second. On top of the video. I don't know why you would want to do that. It doesn't look too nice, but I just want to show you guys that you can do that. And we go to 100% and test is on top. So now you get a feel for adding some text or cutting up your video or maybe a simple transition. Um, and that's your first introductory lesson to Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. I think it's very easy to use. And yes, I recommend this over Final Cut. Uh, I am a big fan of the Adobe software and I say go get it and uh, see you next time. Don't forget, Adobe Easy on Twitter.